what's going on guys all right so i'm going to talk about something right now that is um a little bit more personal to me and uh i just uh it's something that i saw today when i was uh when i was scrolling through a uh debate page that i that i go to quite often and it was a picture of a guy holding a sign that basically said he wanted to be accepted as overweight and he didn't want to have to hide anymore. There we go. It's all good and swell and everything. When people do stuff like that, to me it seems like they're putting themselves into, into a category like somebody does when they talk about race or gender or sexual preference, you know, things like that. And it, it's very disingenuous in my opinion because you being obese is uh is a result of poor choices that you have made poor dietary choices that you have made over the years that have snowballed out of control and resulted in and what you see now and what you see now and i'm fully aware that i am obese which is why i am currently doing what i can to lose this weight you know i'm trying to eat better uh, and everything you know of course i want to work out more i'm trying to work out more in the truck it's not easy to work out in the truck but you know i'm doing like uh chair dips and i'm doing you know push-ups and planks and squats and things like that you know stuff i can do inside the cab that way i can't use the weather as an excuse this guy you know he was uh he was wanting to be accepted as fat and I, you know i'm not going to I'm, I'm not going to rag on the guy for you know asking for acceptance necessarily but what the problem is is that i can almost promise you that he had that you know he is not bullied necessarily the way he is you know i've been obese my entire life and i have not experienced bullying uh since probably middle school i'm 32 years old now I really don't think that he experiences, you know, I, I, I think the problem is too many people conflate somebody genuinely, genuinely can, uh, you know, showing concern and lending a hand out by simply, you know, inviting them to the gym, uh, or speaking to them about, uh, about dietary decisions and uh, choices and what they can do to eat healthier. Too many people conflate that with like a soft bigotry in a way. You know, they, they look at it like they are, like the, the only reason the person is doing this is to offend them. And it's very, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. I've had friends of mine sit me down and talk to me about my weight and I don't get offended, uh, but you know, it, it's just, it's the way it is. The, but the problem is you made that choice to become fat. I'm sorry, but you did. There are there are exceptions. There are exceptions to every rule. There are uh, there are issues uh, where, you know, like uh, thyroid disorders, things like that, that make it very easy to gain weight and very difficult to lose weight. I get that. The problem is that's a very a very minor uh, percentage of the uh, of those who are actually obese. Most of the people that are obese are people like me who have made poor choices. Uh, and those poor choices range anywhere from driving around the parking lot until you find the closest spot to the building instead of parking further away and walking your fat ass to the building, uh, all the way to going out to eat and getting a double bacon cheeseburger with chili cheese fries and a milkshake for dinner. Now the latter, I honestly don't necessarily partake in. I'll partake in the double cheeseburger, you know, but I don't go the full-fledged chili cheese fries and milkshake, you know, stuff like that. But it, it also includes people that uh, decide to sit on the couch at home and watch their favorite television show rather than go to the gym. And gym memberships are dirt cheap these days, guys. They really are. I mean, I belong to the Y. Uh, you've got Planet Fitness. I don't know why the hell anybody would want to go to Planet Fitness. They're political correct bullshit. But you can go to Planet Fitness for like $10 a month. I don't know. Something dirt cheap like that. 
I belonged to Life, I think it was Lifetime Fitness. They were a little more expensive, but they were nice. They were, I think, I don't know, $40 a month. Well, something, something like that. 40 bucks a month, maybe. But hell, they had a freaking movie theater. Literally, they had a movie theater with exercise equipment instead of seats. So you went in there, watched movies on a surround sound, big screen, uh, movie theater atmosphere while you worked out, rode your you know stationary bicycle, ran on the treadmill, uh, pedaled on the elliptical, whatever the hell it was that you chose to do, you could watch the movie in full uh, cin uh, cinema, cinema, Lord, I can't say the word, cinema, uh, surround sound uh, type uh, of, a, of a place. There are there are options you can that, that you can uh, that you can choose uh, as far as working out goes. And guess what, guys? You don't even need a gym membership. You can go outside and walk. You know, you can choose to go on a walk. Um, you can go on a bike ride. You can, you know, which I love riding my bike. I have a couple bicycles. I like to pull my daughter around in the little buggy uh, behind, you know, the little trailer thing behind my bicycle. Um, I enjoy it a lot during the summer. Um, but the problem, too, is that people are afraid. They're literally afraid to sit somebody down and say, hey, you know, your your weight is really becoming a problem. You need to do something. You know, if you want if you want to live past 50, you really need to do something about your weight. But that's become so politically incorrect. And political correctness in you know in situations like this over the long run is a killer. Because everybody is afraid to offend somebody else. And the politically correct thing in this situation would be to tell the person how beautiful they are and how uh, how healthy they are. And that being fat is not necessarily making them unhealthy, which is a load of bullshit, okay? Again, I, I'm fat. I'm morbidly obese. I know I am. Like I said, I weighed in earlier this week and I was 315 pounds. That's ridiculous, you know. And I've been working on this diet this week, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty wholesome. And honestly, guys, I feel better, even though I haven't had a chance to do much working out, just a little bit here in the sleeper. I feel a lot better. Uh, I've noticed my energy going up, and then simply, I've simply decreased my processed sugars and increased my vegetables and and uh, and and meats. You know. Uh, and you know, like for you know, like for uh, you know, I like if I go to Subway, I get a salad uh, instead of a sub. Uh, that and the salads are they fill you up, man. So I get a salad instead of a sub. That way, it cuts out it cuts out the bread. Um, you know, I haven't had. I, I I was at home on Friday and I had like a couple literal literally a couple bites of noodles, which isn't that much. And on the diet I'm on, you're allowed some minor carbs like. You know, I don't know, 20 grams, something like that. Um, but, uh, so it's, you know, it's really important that you make these right decisions. And I'm trying. But, again, the political correctness is just, it's, it's making it too easy to be overweight and think that you're healthy. And think that there's nothing wrong with being overweight. But there is, there really is. You know, it's a good idea to lose weight. It is a fantastic idea to do what you can to lose weight. And like I said, I feel better simply... I, I just feel better just from what I've been eating. You know, for an example, when I make a sandwich uh, in the truck now, I instead of using bread, I use large romaine leaves of lettuce, you know. Uh, and, you know, so I use that and put turkey in between it. You know, it's, it's good. It's not bad. I'm sure it's fuck not going to go all vegan. Being overweight is not a good thing to be. So, you know, it's not, it's not about people not accepting you as being overweight. It is not that at all. It's that people genuinely are concerned for your health. Usually, I'm not saying there aren't assholes, but usually people are genuinely concerned for your health when they talk to you about your weight. So, listen to them, you know, like it, I understand when you're overweight, especially 
if you were overweight as a kid like I was, um, you become sensitive to people talking to you about your weight. You do. It's just a natural, it's, it's a natural defense because when you're a kid, kids are mean, okay? Kids are bullies. Kids will say what they say. Um, and that's just, that's just the way life is. Kids are, kids can be dicks. Okay. There's nothing new there. So you grow up with that perception of being bullied because of your weight. Um, but that's just, uh, that's, that's back then, you know, that's, that's then this is now. So you really need to, you know, get, you really need to put that out of your mind and not be so sensitive when somebody speaks to you about your weight as an adult, because usually it's simply to help you and motivate you and put you on the right path. It is not to degrade you. It is not to put you down and it is not to make you feel worthless. Okay. You need to put that shit out of your mind and you need to stop. Uh, you need to stop being a fucking victim. Everybody's a victim these days. You need to stop. Okay. You need to make the choices. It's up to you. Get the fuck with the program. Go out there and have a salad, okay? Instead of that double cheeseburger, order a salad with grilled chicken uh, or uh, simply order even a grilled steak with some, like, whole grain rice. Something like that. You know, that's a very good option. Just be smarter about what you're doing. That's the thing. Everybody knows. Everybody knows how to lose weight, but we don't put it into practice, and you need to put it into practice. So, I implore you to do so. Alright? You guys take care, and we'll talk at you later.